Getting chicks delivered by mail is very nerve-wracking. Today's the day I think more chicks are coming to our farm. But there was a problem. I looked at the tracking information on it and it shows that they're supposed to be coming out for delivery, like they're gonna be delivered to our house, which we did not think was the case. We don't want our chicks to be doing any extra travel because the more travel they do, the less chance we have of them all being alive. And we know a lot of people sometimes have problems with getting chicks in the mail, and this is our first time ever doing it, so. I'm gonna make a quick phone call and just confirm, because they were supposed to be at our post office supposedly this morning, and I wanna make sure that if they're there, I wanna come pick them up before they would somehow come out for delivery. Bridge Post Office, this is Sean, how can I help you? Yeah, I was calling. I don't know if you guys can help us out with this, but we have an order of live chicks. Okay, yep, they are here. They did arrive this morning. They haven't didn't receive a call. When I look at our tracking thing, it shows like they're gonna be coming out for delivery, but could I just come pick those up? Okay. Yes, yes, we always call and tell you to come pick them up, yep. Perfect, okay, that's what I was hoping. I just wanted to make they're, sure they... They're here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. We'll be by to come get them. All right, that's good news. That means we gotta go pick them up. So as you can see, I'm already in the car because it's time to go get them. This is our first time doing it and I just feel like I just, I've heard so many bad stories about it. So as I'm here on this drive, making it there and they were probably mad because we called them as soon as we could. I just hope they're all there. I hope they all made it. I don't want, I don't want to lose any of them. Here we go. We're just a, a few minutes away. So let's see if they made it. Here comes the kids' favorite part. They love baby chicks. Where are the chickens? They are super snuggled up though, so they are probably cold so we need to get them into their brooder so they can get warmed up so let's say goodbye to them we'll play with them a little bit later maybe okay no. I know I'm this you can't keep it what are you gonna do be the mama are you gonna sit on it no I'm gonna cuddle it <laughs> All right, we have them all set up inside their brooder and they all made it. We have all the chicks we're supposed to have and actually I know a lot of places that male chicks will do something like this. They gave us one extra chick. Are you trying to see the chickens? We actually got 16, we ordered 15 chicks. We have 16 of them in here and they are doing super good. Our oldest daughter, Melina, already dipped their beaks in the water. So they've been getting water already. You gotta make sure that you show them where it's at. Once two or three of them know, they're gonna teach all the rest of them. And they're doing good. Now it's gonna be time that we need to get them some of their feed so they have some food. You guys hungry? You guys want me to go get you some food? So what we do for our chick feed here, we found a brand that we like called Callback Feeds. Not a sponsor, it's just a brand that seems to be working well for us. We get their organic kind of starter feed, and we also get the Chick House Reserve feed that they have, which has a lot of whole pieces of food that you can see in there, like carrot, peas, sunflower seeds. And we combine the two foods, like what this little guy's doing here. We combine those two bags of feed, make it into one so that it kind of gives them the full pieces, which looks nice, but also gives them that organic feed as well. And it seems to be working really well. And we feed that to our chicks that we have inside the chicken tractor here, which they seem to enjoy it. They are not gonna be in that chicken tractor for long though. The birds that we just got, and they're gonna be the ones that occupy this chicken tractor here in the next couple weeks when we have to get them outside. 
And when that happens, these guys will join the main flock over there and be a part of the egg laying flock. Your rent's almost up. Enjoy it while it lasts. And hopefully the two flocks do okay. But what we gotta do now is get this feed and bring it inside so that we have chick feed for our chicks that just arrived. Come on, Thief. Come on. Now the chickens are happy chickens. They finally have their feed. We don't like to give it to them right away as they just kind of adjust and I want them to kind of really focus on having a little bit of water but getting to that heat source and where it's at. Chickens are smart. They're going to figure it out right away. Now they have their heat, they have their water, and their feed. And they seem to be absolutely loving the feed, which we figured chickens aren't too picky as long as they have some kind of food in there. They're going to eat it really well. They're doing good. They're eating. They got to their water. I've seen a lot of them been drinking water. They go under their heat source. So I think it's a successful day of bringing chicks into the home, which is nice to see. Are you happy here? We got the Red Rangers this time around that we're going to be raising for meat. We'll let them adjust to their brooder, get their food, get their water, hang out here without us bothering them too much right now. So this is actually only going to be our second time raising chickens for meat. Our first time having meat chickens, we had Cornish Cross for the breed. So we didn't get the Red Rangers like we have now. Me and Chelsea kind of made a collective decision deciding we weren't going to go with Cornish Cross chickens, especially this next time around but we might not ever get them again. That's a topic for another vlog and another story. I don't really want to get too far into it at the moment. Although for the first time for us raising those kind of chickens, it did go really well. Our chicken tractor was a little different than the one that you see here. It was more flat and just like a really big square. I think it's the Joel Salatin type chicken tractor if you're keeping track at home. And it was really easy to move. It was nice getting out here, moving them once a day. Our chickens grew at a good rate. It took about eight weeks to raise them. After that eight weeks, we got to do our first time ever, which we had a family help us process the chickens. No really major complaints, but we are excited to try a different breed. We've heard really good things about these Red Rangers, so we're hoping that it works out well. Unlike the Cornish Cross chickens, the Red Rangers that we have inside the brooder, they're gonna take about 10 to 12 weeks till they get to a good size, compared to the Cornish Cross chickens that were done in eight weeks. And I absolutely love that we have this chicken tractor set up this time because I like being able to actually go inside the chicken tractor to deal with the chickens and see them. So that makes it a lot easier to take care of them when you can actually go in there and physically take care of them, not just reach in there. Well, now we have a lot of mouse to feed here on the homestead between our free ranging flock that we got going from this little flock that we'll hopefully combine with them in a couple weeks and now our meat chickens that just arrived. So three different kinds of food for them right now and not to mention the pigs that eat a lot. We are excited to go through this journey again. We love the fact of being able to know where our food comes from, know exactly what they're eating, how their conditions are. And that was the number one reason of wanting to move out here and do this kind of living is that we just love being able to be physically a part of it and the rewarding feeling that you get when you realize that it all came from you. We're excited to have more chicks here. It does add a little extra work to the homestead, but that's okay. What's a little extra work compared to what we got to do right now? Have a great day and a better tomorrow, and we'll see you in the next one.